got a consultation at Tika and Hudson, a cool Asian fusion restaurant. They're another local Hoboken business. They got a really cool vibe in there. The food is amazing. And I've been going there, you know, for over the last 10 years. That spicy cool tuna and mango on there, that's really good. Mmm, right. all good. I love coming here. The chili and sea bass is my favorite. I heard from many people that Buddy loves the sea bass. I that's do, our number do, one I seller, do. so it works it's perfect so awesome. for us. So what's going on, man? What can I do for you? So Teak's been open for 10 years. No. Oh. So they're celebrating a 10-year anniversary, and they want to make a cake for their customers to celebrate like 10 years, and they're going to do it during a happy hour. And we really want this cake to incorporate some of the things that people love about Teak. What I love about the restaurant, it's very ornate in its details. Maybe I could pull in some of that. A lot of our decor is influenced by the Buddhas, and yeah, it you really know, says like, so Asian all over Asian this place. Asian Buddha, that whole flair to it. Don't worry about it, Gary. I'm gonna make you a great cake here. We love our neighbors. We love always giving back. And it is one of my favorite restaurants in Hobo. Oh, here's to another 10 years. Thank you. Hey, guys. Um, you guys know Teak in Hoboken, and they wanted us to do a cake. They didn't like give me specific direction, but from being in there, it's kind of like a cool vibe to it. They got a giant statue. Yeah, they got Buddhas in there. So look here. What, what am I seeing here? What is this? That's Frankie after happy hour. <laughs> it's after all you can eat sushi. <laughs> So me and the guys get talking, and we decide that we're going to make a Buddha cake. Because you know what? There's Buddhas all over the place in Teak. I mean, this is skinny Buddha, and this is fat Buddha. Do you think a bigger Buddha is better? <laughs> I like a bigger Buddha. I like fat Buddha best. When you say Buddha, that's the one you take on. I love a nice Buddha belly, just like I got. I'm going to try to be pudgy, pudgy Buddha. You know, we got a lot of Buddha bellies in the bakery. Me and Danny are more like the medium Buddha bellies. Laura and Frankie, the little bigger Buddha bellies. You know, Ralph's got a baby Buddha belly. Eh, we got a lot of Buddha bellies. I can smell the mango. We decided to a mango coconut filling, you know, to infuse some of the flavors they have on their menu. And with that spread over chocolate and vanilla cake, it's going to be an Asian fusion explosion. We're going to go see if this works. We got Liz melting down some hard candy to make gems that we can put all over the cake. The microwave smells delicious. <laughs> Buddha bling, baby. So my hard candy jewels. I love them. They harden in like two minutes. So if you need more, are you eating them? Stop eating them. <laughs> I'm gonna need more chocolate. And I got Ralph making the big happy Buddha using cereal treats and modeling chocolate. <laughs> Buddha. It looks good. Let's try to go like for one of these faces, like this. All right, it's Buddha time. So I'm thinking this Buddha cake should be done in all golds and coppers and bronzes to really fit with the thematic colors in the restaurant. All right, so border these, border these, and border the top and bottom over here. I got to tell you, these molds are nice. We use these molds around the cake to really look like the trim at the restaurant. The more we're doing on this cake, it looks like we stole it. It looks like it should be there in the restaurant. Huh, beautiful. I feel like you can't really do a small Buddha. You gotta do a Buddha. You gotta do a, you gotta do a big Buddha. So now, Ralphie, you got the gems over here. We pipe some little details. We add a little bit of the gems. We got some mold work on there. I mean, it just looked like a real majestic Buddha cake. It looked awesome. We're also making some gum paste lotus flowers because the lotus is one of the main symbols of Buddhism. I think it looks gemmy and cool. I think we're, we're just about home. Ah, yeah. Come on, come in. Watch your fingers. We put the Buddha on top. It's like me after I eat. I'm like, ah. 
We add the lotus flowers. The flowers absolutely make this cake. Like, it was good, but they took it all the way there. And we're done. I like it. I also I really like, like flowers it. flowers with it. Right? Yeah. It feels very majestic and royal and, and cool. The colors really pop. They work nicely. Yeah, I think adding a little magenta in and then pulling it from the flowers mixed with the coppers and the golds, I love it. I think this Buddha looks happy enough for happy hour. Beautiful! We're celebrating 10 years of amazing business here in Hoboken. We really wanted to do something um, to say thank you to all of our loyal customers. Watch the curb. <coughs> I like a bigger fat of Buddha. Number back. Buddy promised something really spectacular, and everyone's really excited for the cake to arrive. Buddha's heavy. Yeah, Ralph, you go first. I got it, I got it. Oh, my god. Wow. All right, guys. Oh. 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 That's amazing. What do you think, man? That's exactly what I was looking for. Thank <laughs> you. I love the Buddha. It matches perfectly. It's exactly what we were thinking. Well, Thank you. It's been my pleasure to do it, and we love that you guys are a local Hoboken restaurant, and you know, we love the community here. Thank you. It had so much intricate details, just like the decor here. Uh, the Buddha itself even had the personality of our customers always having a good time. Who wants to eat the Buddha cake? <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Mmm, the filling, it definitely had some Asian inspiration. It had a lot of different flavors, but the one that jumped out was the mango flavor, for sure. You just couldn't stop eating it. Well, you know what? Here's some good luck for another 100 years. Appreciate it. Thank you we so much. We could have done it for better people. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Take care.